This is a basic recipe for a vanilla lip balm and it's perfect for beginners. It creates a set balm suitable for tins or twist up containers. I'll be using the following formula for a 50 gram batch which makes around four to six lip balms depending on the container you choose. First in phase A we use 30% 15 grams of sweet almond oil. It's a humectant, an emollient and it's skin conditioning. It helps to retain moisture and it's easily absorbed without leaving that greasy feel. Next we're using candelilla wax, 25% or 12.5 grams. A hardener that spreads well and is easily absorbed with a fairly low melting point. Then we need a butter. We're using mango butter, 22% or 11 grams. It's a humectant, occlusive and emollient. It attracts and retains moisture on the skin, creates a protective barrier to prevent water loss. Mango butter is very similar in texture to shea butter, um, but it gives a lighter feel to the finished product. Then we have our second oil, jojoba oil, 20% or 10 grams, an emollient that helps to nourish and heal dry lips, which makes it ideal for a lip balm. Then in the cool down phase, we've got our flavour oil, which gives it its scent and flavour, though please don't eat it. <laughs> We're using up to 2%, one gram. Um, we say up to, as it will depend on the allowed if for amounts and also how much scent throw that you want to be in the finished product. And finally, good old vitamin E, 1% or 0.5 grams. It's an antioxidant that will help to stabilise the formula and has the added benefit of softening the skin and helping to prevent cell damage. It is not a preservative. You do not need a preservative in this formula because this is an anhydrous formula, meaning without water. So take a clean beaker and a stirring rod. I like to use the glass stirring rods and add all of your phase A ingredients together. Give it a quick stir just to make sure that the wax is in the oil as it will help it melt better. Take a pan filled with about two inches of water and put your beaker with phase A ingredients in the pan. Then pop on the hob on a low to medium heat and melt until thoroughly combined. Once it's completely melted together, take it off the heat and remove the beaker from the pan. Give it a quick stir just to make sure it's completely combined. And then you need to leave it to cool down. Once the mixture is cooled down to 40 degrees C, you can add your flavour oil and your vitamin E oil and mix until combined. It should still be liquid at this point, but you'll need to work quite fast. Give it a good stir to mix it all together. Make sure it's all combined. Then get your containers. I'm using these little aluminium tins. I think they're about 10 millilitres each and just pour into them. You'll find that the mixture does set on the beaker as you do it, um, just because of the temperature difference, but you can melt that down and re-pour to top them up afterwards. And then leave them to set. I left them for about an hour, but actually they do set a lot quicker than that. And then they're ready to use. This formula creates a nice firm lip balm that works well in both tins or twist up containers. It's extremely moisturising and it doesn't feel sticky, which is what I like about it. You can customise the formula by changing the oils or butters or flavour oil. Different ingredients have different properties, so read up on what they do first and adjust their percentages accordingly. For instance, cocoa butter 
is quite a lot harder than shea or mango butter, so it will produce a firmer end product. I hope you have fun experimenting with this recipe. If you liked it, drop a like below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I'll be adding lots more recipes over the coming months. If you need ingredients, I have a link for those below too. And if you'd like more formulation help and exclusive recipes and business and regulatory support, then my Patreon is linked below and it's full of content and I post more every week.